Okay, so today I want to show you a handy software that we use to sync up all of our footage. It's called Pluralize. So back in the days, you would have to use a slate and clap the slate, and then you will look for the highest peak in the audio and match that up with your video. But we shoot a lot of weddings and events, and because of this scenario, we're not able to use something like a slate because most of it is running gun. So with Pluralize, it smartly analyzes all of the audio waveforms and it syncs the video up. So let me show you how Pluralize is used. Right now I'm using Adobe CC 2014, the newest version. So I have my bins already set up. I made a bin for our ceremony, excuse me, our sequences already set up. I have a sequence for ceremony and a sequence for speeches. So both of the sequences are empty right now, so I'm going to add our media to the sequence to begin. That's a very, very important step. You cannot use Pluralize after you have edited the video. You need to use Pluralize before you edit the video. This way, all of the footage is already synced and you can begin editing. This may seem like a very basic step, but when I first bought Pluralize, I used to try to sync up the audio after I made my edit with with the scratch audio. So I'll make my edit with the scratch audio, then I'll try to sync up the the good audio later. But this is a very, very bad solution because it's gonna screw up your timeline. So like I said, sync the footage before you edit. So let's put our media in. So first, I like to put in my audio. So we record with at least three audio sources for the ceremony. So first I'm gonna put in the the feed that we got from the DJ and I like to quickly just rename each um, audio take because it helps me stay organized and then next I like to just put in the audio from the officiant doesn't matter which order you put this in this is just how I normally do things then I like to put in the audio from the groom so now that we have our audio in it's good to just go in and put our video in. So I'm going to move this down to make room for my video clips when I put that in. So I'll usually go in after the footage is already logged and find the video from the, um, from the wedding. So I'm going to put in the first uh, video clip. Just click all of these and put them in the timeline. And then next, I'm gonna move over to the next clip and just put those all on the timeline, just stacking them right on top of each other. Right now, we have three cameras. In total, we have four cameras. So as you can see, seeking these all up manually will be a lot of work. So then I'm going to put the last and final clip on. And you can see I still have some space. So just take these clips and move them back up to fill in the gap. And I usually just like to delete all of the tracks that I'm not using just to make things run a lot more smoother. You don't have to, but it's just something that I like to do. So um, delete, delete all empty tracks. So it's just gonna clean up all of the tracks that I'm not using. So before I do anything, I like to press save. And as you can see, I have this in my speeches uh, timeline, which is not good. So I'm just gonna move this over to my ceremony timeline. So now that we're in the right timeline, um, let's move over to Pluralize. So I'm using Adobe Premiere. So I'm not sure how it works on Final Cut Pro or other softwares, but in Adobe, you click over to Window, Extensions, and I'm running Pluralize version 3. So you click that, and then it's going to open up Pluralize on its own. Now it's asking me here um, that I need to save the project before I continue. So I just press Continue, and it's going to save the project again. And now we head over to Pluralize. Now you see this window pops up and it asks us which timeline will we like to sync. 
So I want to sync my ceremony timeline, so that's already checked. And we press OK. So it's loading the media right now. Sometimes it could take a few seconds depending on how many cameras you have. So as you can see, all of the media is loaded in. Now, down here at the bottom, it's going to say preparing. Um, it did it pretty fast because I have already loaded this footage before, but I'm just loading it again for the sake of the tutorial. But usually that takes sometimes up to a minute to two minutes just to read all of the audio uh, waveforms because you can see here it needs to know every waveform in the audio so it can smartly sync this up. Now, what I like to do is go to sync, turn off level audio, and press try really hard. So it's kind of funny you would think that it will always try really hard, but it's better to press that because sometimes it won't analyze every clip. It won't sync every clip. So if you press try really hard, then it will um, know to take its time and sync every clip. And this usually has a greater ratio. So I have all my clips and I'm just gonna press synchronize. So it's gonna work. It's analyzing the waveforms and it's smartly syncing it up. Um, as long as everything is green, then that means everything is synced. So as you can see, so as you can see, everything is green right now. And it has synced up all four cameras and all of the audio sources. This is wonderful because I didn't have to do this manually and this just saved me probably an hour worth of time. There's one clip in the beginning that doesn't sync up, but that's because I started rolling this camera before I plugged in any of my audio sources. So it has nothing to sync to. And with this clip, it's just something that I recorded too early and it's not something that I need to sync, so it's okay that it's red. But here is when everything starts happening in the ceremony and it needs to be synced. So it did its job and it synced up that part. So now that you have it synced with um, Adobe Premiere, it takes you outside of the program and then you round trip it back in. So to bring it back in, you press Export Timeline. So I'm going to click on this. And now it's exporting back the timeline. Now, a funny little bug is that it's going to import it into whatever folder you have open. So right now, the bin that I had open was sequence ceremony. So now the two synced is in here. Now, I usually like to have it the bin already open before I export it back in just so I'm not looking for the clips so I already had it open because this is habit but for you guys just make sure that you have the bin open so it can go right back into that smart bin now it's gonna make two timelines it's gonna make one called synced this is uh, this is what I like for the ceremony because when you have multiple sources you wanna have each audio separated so it's gonna bring in the video and it's gonna bring in each audio source under each other uh, synced and that's great now the replaced, it's going to replace all of your old audio with the new synced audio. Now this is good if you have one audio source, but if you have three to four audio sources, you do not want this because it's only going to take the audio source from track one on the audio and replace it with your camera audio. And all of your other audio sources will, will not be there. So that's not something you want because you want to have this. Ceremony synced. You want to have each audio source separate so you can go in and mix it on your own. And the only way that I will use synced replace, like I said before, is if I have one audio source. So that's it. That's how you use um, Pluralize. And if you have any questions, just leave comments in the comment section and I'll answer it for you. Thanks, and I hope you learned something.